So today our discussion is on a very common question we received from our STAT user on plate stress analysis result. So the question is like this. After the analysis, if you take a node in the plate mesh, why do we get to see the different result whereas the displacement in the very same node is same for all the connected plates? So to explain this, we need to go back to the philosophy and the principle of the finite element formulation that we had discussed at the very beginning. Now in the finite element formulation, we had discussed that this method is based on the approximation. Now how the approximation came into the picture? So it all came from the very approach we followed to solve the governing differential equation of an element. So the approach essentially converts the strong form which is the actual form of the governing differential equation of the element into the integral form which is also known as the weak form. Now although the strong form and the weak form are equivalent but they are not the same. During this transformation from the strong form to the weak form we considered some error between the solution we obtained from both the expression. That means the result deviation from the exact solution that we would have found from solving the differential equation. Further, we minimize this error by the procedures like a weighted residual method, which ultimately gave rise to this integral form from the very differential equation. Now, these are some mathematics behind the finite element formulation. I'm not going into that. We can create a different video later on this. So the solution of the actual differential equation will satisfy at every location of the domain which guarantees the exact behavior and the response of the element. But the solution of the weak form provides us the approximate but very close to the exact solution. So finer we subdivide the domain, better we can expect the result. Now in the finite element analysis, we had enforced the parameter displacement as comparable. You can recall the shape function that we had discussed, which is fundamental as well as the basis of the finite element formulation. Now the shape function formulation itself is based on the assumption that the displacement or the position of the node shared by the adjacent element is the same, but that doesn't guarantee the compatibility of other responses like force and the stress. So basically here we are trying to maintain the continuity of certain order at the common node. So for this we have to understand the concept of continuity. So let's understand what exactly is continuity and what is the important aspect in interpreting the finite element analysis result. So the continuity is also referred to as the smoothness of the function. Now let's represent a function as uh, CM. Uh, this is represented like this. Now here M represents that the shape function derivative is continuous, uh, at least up to mth derivative. Or in the other words, the mth number of derivative would exist for the function CM. Now the meaning of the C here is also known as the common tangent. Now, in our case, we are more concerned with C0 and C minus one function. Now, next is C0 continuity. Now, we are discussing this continuity concept with a lot of mathematical references, but these are indeed required to understand the smoothness of the result in the finite limit analysis. So for the C0 continuity, the displacement at the common node would be the same. Uh, this 0 after C indicates that the derivative of this function will not provide the continuity. That means if we differentiate, we will not get any function as such. So this is evident from this representation of the green line. Uh, that is the tangent or the slope of 
the two connected curves are having the different values. However, for representation, the first derivative of C0 function is also denoted as C minus 1. So with this understanding of smoothness, let's move forward with our plate model instead. The shape function of the plate element here is linear that we have discussed before, having same displacement at the common node, but the slope is different. Now you can intuitively understand from this picture, uh, if the two straight lines are meeting like this at a point, um, their slopes must be different. So this function qualifies for the C0 continuity definition. Now, just like slope, the strain is also defined as the first derivative of the displacement. Uh, you may recall our formulation where we had uh, represented the strain. Uh, it is like du by dx and u being the displacement. So we had established that the first derivative of C0 or the displacement derivative is discontinuous. Hence, the strain is also discontinuous. Now, further stress and force are directly related to the strain. Hence, although the displacement at the common node is same, but the responses like stress and force are different at the common node for the adjacent plate elements. So the more you generate the finer meshing, closer you get the nodal stress result. Now in the contour plot, you may see the smoothness in the stress representation. Uh, this is because all the individual stresses and the forces at the respective nodes are averaged out and the index values are computed on the basis of the weighted average values.